Hey, it's Mike. Thanks for tuning back in. I'm at the National Day One. I am staying in the worst hotel room I've ever been in in my life. Motel, hotel. I've stayed in a lot of places. This is by far the worst. It's it's really bad. <laughs> it's, um, and now I kind of wish my family had come along because I definitely would have upgraded had they been coming. But National Day One, my first flight was fine. Second flight was delayed by like an hour. So I got here later than expected. Thankfully, my, my boy, baseball collector waited because he had my badge to get me in. And um, I, I walked around for an hour. I spent 800 bucks in the first half hour. So there goes a chunk of my budget for the week. Um, so my first impression is that this is significantly better than Chicago was last year. This is my third national. I went to Atlantic City two years ago, Chicago last year, Cleveland now. I was not a fan of Chicago, and I know it's going to be back there for like the next three years, I think. Atlantic City, I know a lot of people have problems with the location, but the actual site itself was really good. It was easier to navigate. Um, this one seems to be that way. We'll see when it gets busy tomorrow. Uh, it seems to be better organized. It's more open. There, There's food everywhere. And maybe I missed it last year in Chicago, but all I remember for food really was the cafeteria, which had atrocious food. And they have all kinds of different food stands at this place, as well as food trucks. So that was really awesome to see. Man, my arm is getting tired just holding my phone up. I have no place to set, set my phone or anything. This is so bad. <laughs> But this is what you get when you save money wanting to buy more cards. Um, so I'll show you the cards, but first of all, I want to talk about the experience. Uh, on Twitter earlier today, people were complaining about the dealers at the show, and I thought, oh no. But people weren't being specific. They were just saying, the dealers of the show are so terrible, they're wasting space, blah, blah, blah. And I thought, oh man, this is, is this going to be a bad week? Turns out they were complaining because there are a lot of vintage dealers. There are a ton of them, and they are amazing. If you are a vintage collector, this is the place to be. And I know Strongsville is a vintage show. And uh, Chris from Missouri I ran into, he said that Strongsville is better, but this is still really good. I, I would like to go to Strongsville someday. Uh, maybe next year? We'll see. Ran into Rocket Rick. I ran into a bunch of people. Sammy Thunder gave me an awesome gift. A 1980, so rookie season Larry Bird basketball digest. Very, very cool. Um, so yeah, the, I, I, the corporate area, I kind of skimmed through briefly. Eh, doesn't do anything for me, except like the big auction houses stuff. I walked through the REA booth, amazing. And they have lower end items too, that you can quickly scan and then go and bid on. So very cool. I only spent an hour there. Uh, so far, it's huge. It's massive. But it doesn't seem to be the same problem as last year where it's like you're in a room and then you're in another room and then you're in another room and there are so many rooms and you don't know where you are. This is, uh, I don't know how many rooms. It's not very many. Uh, it did feel hot. It did feel hot. It felt not as hot as Chicago, but we'll see how it is tomorrow afternoon when there are a lot more people there. It was packed, but I know it's going to be. I know it's going to be busier. Uh, and the the biggest tip everybody says: don't forget your deodorant. There were people who forgot their deodorant. There are people who really need to watch those those videos, those tips. Ugh. Um, I saw a lot of people just going up to tables with stuff, and they were just saying make me an offer and throwing cards on the table. Like, ha have a little tact. All right, I'm gonna show my cards. First of all, 1951 Bowman Ted. This was on my list. Uh, Ted Williams Collector, this is a 1.5. So let's see if I can get better lighting this way, maybe, yeah. 1.5. Corners are rough. Centering is pretty darn good. 
and he came down quite a bit on the price too. So really happy with that. Paid two twenty five for it, and um, maybe a few more from the fifties. I looked at one nineteen forty one play ball Ted Williams. It was a two point five. It was priced probably priced fairly, but uh, probably too nice for me. I'm looking for like a 1.5 at the most, probably. And then I found a table that had two cards I wanted, two cards and a little preview of my top 100 list here. Dr. J, rookie. The Virginia Squires were the ABA team Dr. J played for initially. So uh, I packaged this actually with Rocky Marciano rookie. Not bad. Really happy with that. I'm not a boxing guy at all, but I want the rookie cards or the best cards of the best athletes of all time. And there are, there's more than one boxer on my list. And actually I saw Cassius Clay, 1960 Hemet's Journal. That's considered his earliest best card. Ah, I want that too. Um, obviously I didn't get it. So that's it for day one. Make sure you're subscribed because I will be here the next two days. I'll do a video after each day. I'll also be at the YouTube get together. Also, if you're here, uh, the easiest way to drop off cards for PSA or SGC or CGC or Beckett, I don't know, at least SGC and PSA, easiest way, instead of going to the booth yourself and standing in a long, long line, is to drop them off, in my opinion, at Bucks Trading Co. He's, a, he's one of their biggest dealers, I think, not a dealer, but um, group submitter. Drop them off with him. He will take care of it for you. It's super easy. I've done it. So if you're here, make sure you're doing that instead of dropping off at PSA. Uh, and you get a, I, I think he has a group submission price and stuff. So easier. I find it easier at least. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. See you all tomorrow.